Hi, I'm Diana Felsam for FoxNews.com, and today we have some very special in-studio guests, penguins, <laughs> and of course Amy from the Maryland Zoo. Thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you for having us. So who are our friends today? We have uh, Winnie, you have Winnie, yes. and I have Lily, and these are two of our African black-footed penguins from the Maryland Zoo. And you just opened up an $11 million <laughs> exhibit with penguins. Why are penguins so popular right now? People love penguins. They always have, I hope they always will, because we've invested a lot of money in them. Uh, the Maryland Zoo decided that we are the foremost breeder of African black-footed penguins. Wow. So it, they, we have had over 900 chicks since 1967 when we first started breeding them, and so we really wanted to invest into a nice home for them, a nice environment for the keepers, mm -hmm. and an excellent place for guests to view the penguins underwater, over water, right next to them in front of a big glass wall. So it's definitely something we're very, very proud of, and mm -hmm. we hope that people will come and enjoy it. Do you think that there's been an increase in penguin popularity because of movies like Madagascar and Happy Feet 1, Happy Feet 2? You've definitely. got some Happy Feet. She does, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I find Ooh, myself hi. even saying, smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. <laughs> so they are very, very popular. Kids love penguins. They always will. I will. I used to love penguins when I was younger. I had mm -hmm. penguin sheets and a penguin backpack and penguin pants. So it was your all. calling. You were called by it the penguins. Was, but I'm very happy to leave them at the zoo because they uh, are very interesting little creatures, um, and they are definitely best suited to a uh, natural environment, and if yes. not, that's the zoo environment. Yes, and, and we also know that they have some special talents, too. They do. One of the things we like to do with our penguins, um, and we use it as a fundraiser, um, we have them uh, paint, not necessarily with a brush, right. but uh, what we do is we have, we use tempera paints, and we let them walk in it, and then walk, um, we put a little bit on the bottom of their feet, and they walk across the canvases. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so we can use them for fundraisers, and it's a nice little um, gift that people can take home, and and they're very exciting to look at. We like to do them in uh, ravens and orioles colors. Okay. So we have well, of some, course, Marilyn. Yes, exactly. So we yeah. have some purple and gray ones and also some orange and black ones. So are you a self-proclaimed penguin Picasso there, Winnie? Yes, yeah, she is. She's very generous in the uh, footprints on her canvases. What are some of the uh, characteristics of penguins, some of their personality traits? Because they seem very friendly, very docile. They do. Um, it is all an illusion. Um, we have, <laughs> these two penguins here are two of our traveling animal ambassador penguins. Okay. And they were just very well suited from the get-go oh, to be okay. around humans. Okay. Typically penguins are very suspicious of humans because they're very large mammals that could possibly eat them right. in their mind. So right. uh, they're usually a little bit more, uh, a lot more aggressive actually, and very territorial and protective of their nests and protective of their little family group. They're, um, mm -hmm. They mate for life, so they're protective of their mate and their chicks. Right. But these oops, two oops. penguins in particular, <laughs> she's, very, she's just checking me out. Okay. These two penguins in particular, um, when they were very young, we decided that they would be very good ambassadors because they um, preferred to be around humans as opposed to other penguins. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily actually, or Winnie actually, was uh, in our breeding colony and she just was never really part of the colony. She always wanted to be with the keepers, and so we started taking her own program, right. and that's how it came she to be. She was more of a people penguin. She's a people penguin, that's right. <laughs> I tell people she is a dog in a penguin suit, so they usually don't act like this, which is why we want mm -hmm. you to come to Penguin Coast to see them yeah. in their na most natural habitat. And and with at the Maryland Zoo, you're trying to grow this penguin population for the African penguins up to about 100, mm -hmm. but when we talk about in the wild, mm -hmm. what do we have to be fearful of? What is the penguin population like there? The African penguin population right now has declined about 90%. Not 90%? 90%. So there's only about, uh, they estimate 180,000 penguins left in the wild, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not if you consider how big the population was, mm -hmm. um, you know, just under 50 years ago. So their big problem um, in South Africa, around Cape Town, Boulders Beach area, up, in, up into Namibia, is uh, oil spills were a mm -hmm. major problem. There was a major oil spill in the 90s that wiped out a lot of the population, um, but also people were stealing eggs and they were destroying their nests, and now they are in endangered protected species, yeah. you're not allowed to do that. And they're a bit of a tourist attraction now. Um, the South African government has really figured out how to get people to Cape Town to see penguins, and that is really their saving grace. Okay, so people are also their number one predators in so many ways, right. but also their saviors, exactly. especially people like you at the Maryland Zoo. Right. We so. have, like I said, we are breeding penguins, um, you know, as, as literally as fast as we can to get them out to other organizations. And with all zoos and their breeding, um, their breeding populations and their breeding plans, it is ideally in case we would need to place them back out in the wild we would have a surplus to do so well thank you so much for joining yeah. us lily and winnie you have been excellent guests some of the best <laughs> we've ever had here and for more information on the penguin exhibit at the maryland zoo you can go to the following website